in five days at the rate of five hundred and thirty four dollars and fifty five cents one would earn two thousand nine hundred and ninety three dollars and forty eight cents in twenty eight days using the five hundred and thirty four dollars and fifty five cents to five days equal to y dollars in three days we create a proportion in which we multiply both sides by three using algebra we find that y equals three times five hundred and thirty four dollars and fifty five cents divided by five three hundred and twenty dollars and seventy three cents is earned in three days approximation this is a portion of the place value system. The decimal in the center separates two different regions. On the left, the first space is the ones position, the next is the tens, and then the hundreds. This isn't limited, it goes on forever. To the right of the decimal, the first space represents the tenths position. The second space represents the hundredths position and the third space represents the thousandths position. This also goes on forever. It is just a portion of the place value system. Consider the number 123.4564. If we want to approximate this number to the nearest thousandths, we locate the digit to the right of the decimal that's in the thousandths position. This four is in the tenths, five is in the hundredths, the six is in the thousandths position. We look at the digit to the right. If that digit is a zero, one, two, three, or four, like in this example it's a four, the approximation will be 123.456. That is, we leave the digit in the thousands position, the six, alone. This number is approximated to the nearest thousands. Consider the same number, 123.4564. If we want to approximate this digit to the nearest hundredths position, while well, we look to the digit to the right of the decimal that's in the hundredth position. The four is in the tenths, the five is in the hundredths. If we look at the digit to the right of the five, Recall that if it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we leave the 5 alone. In this case, it's a 6. If the digit to the right of the digit in the hundreds position is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, what we do when we approximate the answer is we add 1 to the 5 and make it a 6. This number, 123.46, is approximated to the nearest hundredths position. We simply add 1.
when we consider the number 1, 2, 3, point four, five, six, four. And we want to approximate this number to the nearest tenths position. We locate the digit to the right of the decimal that's in the tenths position. And in this case, it's the four. The digit to the right is a five. That means the approximate value is 123.5 because we add one to the four. The digit to the right being a five, six, seven, eight, or nine indicates that we add one to the four. If we consider again the same number and we want to approximate to the nearest whole number, we simply look at the first digit that makes it a whole number. In this case, it's a 3. To the right of that digit is a 4, meaning we leave the 3 alone. If the digit to the right is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we leave the digit alone. 123 is the approximate value to the nearest whole number. Or simply divide by 100. I have the definition here of triangle percent being equal to triangle divided by 100. Let's apply the definition of percent to 2%. That's 2 divided by 100. Two percent is point zero two numerically. We represent two percent by the value point zero two. Let's apply the definition of percent to 13.5 percent. That's 13.5 divided by 100. Thirteen point five percent is represented as point one three five numerically. thirteen point five percent 